fucking feeling the realness. It's time to take it back. Please report to the dance floor. Off balance. I see what you're saying now. Life path number nine, how you doing? I am fine without you. Oh, some of you are just getting by fine. Just getting by a fine. Some of you have got a fine lion, or a fine Leo, or fine ass, but like, or sass, sassy, but like, uh, I've got a fine ass, Aquarius. Some of you have got a f fine Aquarius, Sagittarius. Listen, I'm a nine, and I am a fine as I am. <laughs> Unless your name's I am, or Iron Lion Zion, it's like I am a lion Zion and I am lying to myself. Sorry, but I will call out you out on your bullshit if there is any, because I'm hearing this, listen, number nine, or Virgo, I'm listening, I'm listening, yeah, I'm listening, no, no, I'm zoning out, no, I've hit the twilight zone, no, I've lost interest. Some of you kind of got, oh, I'm listening, I'm listening, yeah, I know what you're saying, yeah, no, I've lost interest. Yeah, okay, no, I know you're listening. I, I, yeah, I'm listening. Yeah, oh, no, no. I'm sick and tired of listening to the same ship. Some of you turned into Danny, or your name, or you know someone called Dan, or Danielle, but, uh, or D, anything beginning with D. But um, uh, I'm hearing, though, that, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm zoning in and zoning out, zoning in, zoning out, like incoherent energies of being knocked unconscious. So I've got no idea what that is, but it's like, it's all in my subconscious. I know it's there, I know it's in my head. But uh, I'm fine, no, it's, because I'm picking up uh, Life Path number nine, or Virgo, that it's kind of like, no, I, no, I'm fine. Yeah, no, I'm fine. No, I'm fine, I'm fine. No, just, I don't, listen, I don't want to know. Don't keep telling me, I know, I know, yes, I'm fine. Yeah, no, I'm fine, stop, stop, keep checking up on me, yes, I'm fine. No, I know, yeah, no, just, will you, li oh. <laughs> Is, I don't know if you're on the blower to someone. This is a parent or a, a mother or a child or anybody. But it's like you're on the phone to someone. And that was a phone ringing in the background. You may have not heard it as I did that. So it has to be some sort of omen. Unless you're called Damien or D. Anything beginning with D. But um, I'm hearing though that... Uh, yeah, no, I'm fine. Yeah. yeah I, I, well, if you just let me speak. Oh, uh, 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 just... Oh, 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 fuck. So I don't know if you do this as a job and you're... Uh, or you're struggling in a relationship or out of one, but I am honestly hearing a lot of denial of like someone that doesn't listen, like they don't listen. They like to speak, but they don't like to listen. It's like, no, 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 I'm telling you I know already. No, it's fine, you don't need to tell me. It's all right, I know already, no. Just, oh, fuck off. <laughs> it's really what I'm hearing, like path number nine or Virgo. I don't know who that is. It could be a parenting situation that you've got going on. Oh, um, I also heard grandparent as well. So it might be your grand, granddad or grandmother or something like that. But um, whatever it is, it feels like that this, this slight energy of denial, if I'm honest, uh, life path number nine. Because it's like this Virgo trait, if you like. Like, no, it's okay. I've got this. Yeah, no, I've got it all in hand. I know exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, you don't need to tell me, I already know. Yeah, no, no, I'm a Virgo, it's okay, you don't need to tell me, I already know. Yeah, no, I know, yeah. Yeah, no, I know, yeah. No, yeah, I, I mean, is someone fucking deaf here? I don't know, <laughs> but like, yeah, no. Listen down that hole, shut up a minute and let me speak. Just, uh, oh, uh, oh, it's like the person won't let you get word in edgeways. What is this for? Or in a hedge, in a hedge, but like, or Edgley, the name Edgley, or on a knife's edge, or uh, wow, what was that film a long time ago? John's Silver's Long John Silver. So <laughs> there you go. There's your two, Dick and Dom's name. You're right, guys. How you doing? Uh, sorry, I'm mimicking a little bit. You'll probably know how to do that. That's you two, Long John Silver. Get up there, Nige. There you go. So uh, that's your nickname by Steve now, by Spirit, Long John Silver. Yeah, Long John Silver. So John could be long. Are you Long John? Long John. That's also another John I know. That's a Piscean. He must have nine. He must be a nine. Unless you're anything really a lot to do with the Pisces at the moment. I, I feel that you could well have. But um, yeah, I know a guy called uh, John. Right, and a friend of mine, I've seen him for years, but we're friends on Facebook and so on and so forth. Uh, 
He actually goes down to Boongate, down London. So that's you, John, as well. But I know another John who's got another motor. John's got a new motor. He could have a new Cancerian. But, uh, or seven. But, like, uh, listen, I know, actually know a guy called John, and I used to call him Long John because he's actually really tall. Uh, Long John Silver. But there you go. Silver, Wolf Silver, <laughs> Leos, Pack of Leos, Trios. And then there's John with Long John. So, yeah, I don't know what on earth that is coming to. But it's like, what on earth is this alluding to? What? Alluding? Allude, illusion. Allu well, that's what it's alluding to. It's illusion. It's a Lee. There you go, Lee. That's straight up illusion. <laughs> so it's like, is this smoke and mirrors or is this just an illusion? I don't know why this is. I don't know. I'm just going to mention this just in case this person's watching. I had a very weird message this morning on, uh, on my channel. And uh, it said that all my messages get deleted and I think I'm going to unsubscribe because something is something. And I have swear to God I've never seen this person before or heard their name. Like, I really haven't heard their name. Uh, oh, sorry, it wasn't the bouffant one. The, the, the one that said, uh, too much singing, not enough reading. But, uh, 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 uh. but uh, again, that was going to be the narc of the week. Um, but it's one of the most stupid comment of the week. But um, there was another comment, and it was someone that was being genuine, I think, but said my comments always seem to get deleted or something, but I don't know you. Like, I, I, I literally know, like, Tino Shade. I haven't got beef with anybody. I just can't ever remember your icon face or your name. I can't even remember what it is without looking it up, and I haven't got time. So, to me, on the back end of looking at that, I think, what the fucking hell does that message mean? So... Are you getting like lost in messages or something? Because it really feels like, hold on a second, I've got a message, I've got a message, I've got a message. Okay, some of you are texting or sexting and you've got a message, you're like, hold on, I've got a message. Okay, and it's like this, I'm picking up this cat thumb, like ambidextrous thumb of like, like, okay, let's play fucking thumb wars or something. Or like, get out, what you, uh. <laughs> but like, I mean, is someone like playing games or you're on an Xbox or a PlayStation or something? And you're like, listen, bruv, my thumbs are going like mad. I mean, what is it, worms? <laughs> but, like, what on earth is that? Thumbs. Thumbs? Bums. Some of you could be showing your bum and your thumb as well. I don't know, it could be showing your mum. Don't be showing your mum. No. Like, I'm just going to show my mum. What are you showing your mum? Your thumb? Why would you do that? Tom Thumb. Tom. The name Tom? Hold on, I just need to show my mum this thumb. No. <laughs> no. No, what on earth is that? Why am I hearing no? No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do No, don't do that. What have you, oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> so what are you showing or doing? Libra. Some of you are doing or something or showing around a Libra. It's like, I'm just going to show you something. But prepared for a shock. And you're like, what on earth is this shock going to be? It's like a shock wave. Like, I don't know, shock wave? A shock wave. Shock wave. Hold on. Shock wave. So why would you get a shock? Electric shock? Tower? Dick? Or like, I'm just going to show you my dick. And I'm just going to shock you with it or something. Or like, <laughs> like, come round. <laughs> like, what on earth is that? Like a heart attack or something? I don't know. I mean, trust me. You must work in a place like this, right? Because I keep picking up like, shock. Like getting something that's very shocking. Shocking. They keep saying, man, that is shocking. Shocking. Mocking. Mocking Jay. The Mocking Jay? Or Jen? Or Jason? Or Jays? And the Mocking Jay. It's like you're just mocking me. What are you mocking me for? Mockings. Mocking stockings. Someone's going to be putting on some stockings. Ooh, look at you, number two, and your stockings. It's like, ooh, look at your stockings. Have they got a slit in them? So someone's got a pair of... Actually, someone's got a pair of crutchless panties. Mm, yep, I'm definitely seeing stockings with crutchless panties. That's magic. <laughs> it's a kind of magic. One dream. What? My, well, my dream is to... What? My dr <laughs> Stop, Steve, before you keep speaking. My dream is to have a pair of crutchless panties. No, not me. Well, I wouldn't mind seeing a pair, but... It's like, well, do you want me to show you my pears? If you show me your pears, I'll show you my bear. What? Care bear? I'll show you my care pear package. A care package. Some of you are playing games and you're like, you wait for a... 
is this Ghost, uh, ah, Elijah, uh, Ghost uh, Recon, and you wait for a care package to come down, you're like, right boys, right, hold on a minute, right, now go for it, care package, right, here it comes, right, we got it boys, yeah, let's go boys, let's go, let's go, so, I mean, it's either, it's either uh, Ghost Recon or it's Elijah's Ghost, so, <laughs> it's like, well, that's a ghost, right, so, what do you call a ghost? Lost. So who's that? Virgo. So you kind of got this Virgo Libra type feeling of like, am I, am I, am I a ghost? Am I in the woods? Like, because I keep picking up someone like, fucking in the woods, like, right, there's a care package there. Right, <coughs> like, fucking hell. Because I keep seeing like a, a cartoon of, you know, like, ah, you rascally wabbit, I'll get you with this gun. And it's got like a big tube on it, like with like a blowing an horn. Right? <laughs> Someone's going to be blowing on an horn. But like, 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 <coughs> like an all just fucking, what do you call it? Uh, dust comes out there. Like an old musket. An old musket. So musk, 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 musk. Mask. Someone's wearing a mask. <laughs> Who fucking don't? But like, someone's wearing a mask. Could be a two, could be a Libra energy. They wear a mask normally on their card. But like, uh, show us your card. Show us a five card trick. Some of you are dealing with a five, which would be a Taurus or Sagittarius. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm hearing though, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, Sagittarius, Taurus, Sagittarius. Uh, but I'm hearing show us your trick. Show us your trick or show us your prick. I mean, what's that? Show us your prick. What on earth is this? Show us your latest trick. So what's your latest trick? I mean, some of you are you magicians or something, and you like no tricks. It's like this is not no tricks. Trixie, Trixie, the name tricks. Matrix, <laughs> show us the matrix. I fucking do keep doing it, but like, show us the matrix. <laughs> show us the matrix, um, or tricks. Trick, 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 trick. Show us your latest trick. Ba 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 See there's a horn. Someone's horn blowing. Trumpet, blowing my own trumpet. Some someone likes to blow their own trumpet. Oh man, who's tall? Someone could possibly blow their own trumpet. Well that's definitely judgment in a card, is judgment. So you've got this calling. Like someone's calling you quite a lot. Talking. Or like like rap 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 rabbit like rabbit 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 rap 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 is it a rabbit habit it's like this is a habit rabbit I mean widget widget one well, of fidget fidget so this is M and M or it's an Emily or Emma or M or whatever but it's like um <laughs> it's like let me give you digits fidget widget the Bridget Bridget some sort of Bridget Bridget fidget 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 Jones's diary. Some of you got a Bridget Fidget. <laughs> Someone's like, listen, Bridget, Fidget, Widget, Widget, what's your digit, Digit, Ribbit, Ribbit? So <laughs> some of you like are toads in the owl or something, or like frogs, and it's like, what's your digit, Bridget, Fidget, Fidget, Widget, Widget, give us your digit, Fidget, Ribbit, Ribbit. So <laughs> unless you just like Eminem, but like a uh, Malteser or someone that's a teaser and they please to tease. It's like, I'm just teasing you with my Maltesers. So someone's like, look at your Maltesers, Bridget. What's up with your fidget digit? It's like, listen, it's just my digit fidget. That's all I need to just fidget with my digit. That's all you need to do is just fidget with your own digit. 1331. So you've got to be dealing with a four and a four, which is Scorpio, but then it would be eight. So you're dealing with Leo Aquarius. Simples. Show us the matrix. There you go. I just did. Some of you have got Aquarius Leos on your hand. Or you've got a big fish in your hand as well. You're like, listen, fish, just so us your digit, digit. What's your digit, Bridget? Listen, Bridget, if you don't fidget, fuck off, Bridget, Bridget. I'm going to do you in a digit, digit, and put you in a ditch. So, man, I've turned into a rapper. So, you <laughs> like, show us your Bridget, Fidget. Show us your Bridget Jones. Some of you have, like, got Bridget Jones' diary. Some of you got some major cacks on you, maybe. Or, like, look at Bridget's Fidget. Look at Bridget Fidget. Someone's watching Bridget Fidget with themselves. Maybe, I don't know, you might be watching masturbational videos or some sort of educational experience, whichever. Because it feels like the experience. It's like, well, I'm just in it for the experience. So some of you ex experience, experience, what's that? 
librarians. Libra I'm a librarian aquarian, don't you know? And I'm good, Jane. My name's Jane and I'm plain and I'm aquarian. <laughs> Some of you like aquarian up the ain. Some of you like it up the anal, maybe. I don't know, or you've got anal beads. But it's like, listen, anal, I'm Bridget. Don't you know fidget? I don't fidget and play with my fidget widget widget. What on earth is that for? It's like a cage. Remember those uh, J Johnny Cage? What do you come here? But like Johnny Cage or Johnny, can, well, no, what's his name? Uh, Raised in Arizona. You could be from Arizona. But Cage, Nicholas, Nick, 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 prick, 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 Nick, Nick. It's like prick, prick, Nick, Nick, prick, prick. But, but, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I kind of realised I was going into a very strange thing there. Don't take that out of context, just erase that. Uh, I'm hearing, like, that the cage that used to go around here like this, okay, and used to sit in the cage, and then it goes around, but you stay in the same position. And it's like, okay, all we need to do is pray. That's why we pray. Pray. It's like, pray for another day. So MC, anybody who was M, again, M and C, M and Co, M and, M and Co, M and C, uh, Hammer, Max, Maxwell, Silver Hammer, uh, John, <laughs> John and John, Long John, Silver's John. It's like, look at John. Let's look at Silver's John. Or like, let's, let's look at Maxwell and the Max, Maxine. Let's have a look at the vaccine. Some of you could be going for the vaccine. So, <laughs> is the vaccine where you guys are? Britons are struggling because we left the EU exactly the same time as everybody else had the vaccine. Oh dear, Boris. What are you going to do about that one? <laughs> but, no, good old Boris. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, so what's this to do with Vax? V, V, Vax, Vox. The Vox. The foxy lady Wayne or Dwayne Dwibbler from Red Dwarf is like, listen, Dwayne Dwibbler, I got my thermos, I got my packed lunchbox, and I'm going on a hike. And I can pick up this, like, yes, I'm going down on a hike. It's like, who, who, who? I mean, what, are you wrestling or are you like doing marching? Is this a butch woman? I don't know. It's like, hey, I got everything that I want, and I got my thermos, and I'm off. Hello, everybody! <laughs> what the hell is that? Is that really Red Dwarf? Well, that's a Virgo. So, uh, who am I doing? Nine and Virgos. Yeah, so this is a Butch Virgo. Butch Cassidy and the Butch Dog. It's like, listen, Butch, Cassidy, or Cass, or Cassidy. Hello, there you go. Sorry, Casablanca, you're not Butch, right? But like, um, a Butch, oh, that's the, sorry. Everybody else, sorry, the old Nark Pisces was called Putchy, for God's sake. Go away from my channel, Nark. But like, uh, <laughs> and the lunatic is on the grass. Yeah, the lunatic's on the grass. So, well, the lunatic could be up your arse uh, to do with an Aquarius or a uh, Sagittarius. Just don't take a lunatic up there. It's like I need to I need to concentrate the lunar the lunar eclipse is there a lunar eclipse coming up got no idea I'm not an astrologer but they're saying something to do with the lunar or luna or duna duna someone's definitely from Donna or from Australia and is like well I need a duna it's like what do you need a duna for so someone's from Australia that's really you put your old knocking in the comments there right well no <laughs> but uh, yeah just a just a little just that that little one. That little one dislike that comes in before any video starts. But like, uh, I'm hearing, I need a donor. So, uh, or, or I need a donor. Someone needs a donation or, or just about to give a donation. Private flight. Thank you so much, man. Jeez. Uh, sorry. One man. Sorry. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Constant uh, super chat. Uh, but it's like, I need a donation. It's like, I need a donation. What's that? It's like, listen, Randolph, we're back, Mortimer. So some of you like, I'll buy it for a dollar. What are you buying for a dollar? The million dollar man? Stephen Steele, uh, what was that? Um, the million dollar man. Was that Stephen? Uh, who was the million dollar man? Uh, Steel and Makepeace, was it? St uh, Dempsey, no that's Dempsey and Makepeace. Who was the million dollar man? I forget now, but what was the one that was Stephen and Steel and 
God, man, that was absolutely fabulous. Back in the day, bruv. Uh, you know, absolutely fabulous. What's her name? Really good looking woman. Getting on now, but still, Jesus, man. Getting on, but <whistles> foxy. But uh, yeah, she was uh, in absolutely fabulous. But years ago, it was the Bionic Man, right? Was it the Bionic Man? And it was her and Stephen. Oh, fuck if I know. Just please leave it in the comment section, right? For if I, because I'll be here for ages trying to think of that. I can remember it in my head though, the Bionic Man. What is her name? It's right on the tip of my tongue as well. Anyway, I'm sure you guys are all chatting in the side there. All right, but um, so what's this coming to? Well, what is it coming to? Well, it's coming to America. Some of us you live in America, but next week we're going to be on a grill. So uh, it's like, it's like, uh, what is it like? Alaka, I like Allah, Sal, or Allah, or Allah. Someone, sorry, I'm not religious, so I've got no idea. But Allah, right? So that or uh, hello, hello. Someone could be French. French is that a oui, hello, hello. Um, but hello, 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 hello. Oh, man, what's spirit? What's this got to do with life path number nine's life? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Left me hanging. Some of you Pisces. <laughs> Some of you Pisces just left me hanging. So we've been going on this. You leave people hanging. They don't just hang there, Pisces. They just sit there doing not much, right? Which means they don't have to do too much. So I don't know what this is. You just left me hanging. Leave me hanging on, but like you just left me hanging. Don't leave me hanging. Someone's like, you're definitely dealing with Pisces energy, but Pisces don't actually hang themselves from trees unless they're stupid people. So, you know, Pisces energy is never stuck. It's that you're stuck with someone. And I said this in the seven reading or eight reading. Yeah, I'm not in there with you. You're in here with me. <laughs> you know, take your school, karmic school, retrograde gets ticked, right? You get ticked and graded on your grades of your soul. So when you are in retrograde, which is what I feel that we are, maybe, are we in retrograde? No idea. But if I'm talking about it, it's possible. So when you do, basically, you have to look at it as like a school, right? You have to look at it as where karma is watching you constantly, grading you on your school projects, right? So whatever it is that you pretend or, is, or, or whatever it is, is always being watched by karma. But when you have retrograde is normally when you have returns from the past of being left hanging, right? So you've definitely got energies of the hangman here. So through that you go to school, which is what a lot of you have probably had me talking about before, which is going to school with a Pisces energy once, twice, three times. Give it one shot, give it twice, give it three. Three, you go to prison, you go to jail, you go to karmic school, you go to lesson, you get three goes at it, so on and so forth. Normally when you go to a fairground, they give you three balls, you throw three, it's like, okay, you didn't win, blah, 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 so on and so forth, master teacher, master learner. You go to school, karma ticks you, grades you on your thing, and then it ticks you off, makes you very angry, pisses you off, you get, oh, no, I'm ticked off now. It's like, of course, because you just got degraded, demoted, and not promoted. Right, so you get promotions, you get demotions, you get, oh, well, I seem to be going over the same thing, just stuck here doing the same thing constantly over and over again with this hangman, and I keep going around and around in a circle, and I must be a life path number five, or I must be a Taurus, and I'm going around and around and around waiting for this person, at least to just, like, stop hanging there like that. So it's like, well, you just stuck around. It's like, they're not stuck. No, they're not stuck. They just know. <laughs> so it's like you're not stuck with them you're stuck with me <laughs> so um yeah but retrograde you always have to see it as a detention you know retrograde is something that pulls your energy in to learn again right because you didn't learn the last time so why keep hurting yourself so why keep going over the same ground yeah because i'm not prepared to drop it yet <laughs> right okay then you go back into detention well, then everybody starts putting grasshoppers in cheese sandwiches and God knows what else starts pissing around in karmic school. <laughs> Let's laugh at it. <laughs> so, 
<coughs> generally though you get ticked off you get retrograde you get annoyed you get another tick you get demoted and you go back and you do the same thing in order for promotion right so when you get promoted other people get demoted and you move on and then you get a float right so then we all float down here Stephen King takes you to school nanu nanu right so you've uh, what on earth is that relevant to Virgo's life no idea I feel like fun, fun, fun till, until something. It all feels like fun until someone goes and fucks it up, is what I'm hearing. Like it's all fun until something got took away. My daddy got took away. But it, some of you are dealing with someone that went to prison or something like that until my daddy got took away. Because I'm hearing daddy like big daddy, like the big daddy. Well, that was uh, a weightlifter. Like, oh, big daddy. No, it wasn't. It was a wrestler. Um, but it all got fun until my daddy got took away. What? Some of you have recently just lost a father or something. But it, all, it's all, it was all fun until this one moment that got took away from me. It feels like everything is all fun and games until I really start getting serious. Some of you are just out there just in order to poke and tease or like you're just looking for something serious but not really taking yourself so serious. Meaning I'm not really taking myself serious in this. I'm just kind of like I don't know if I'm being serious or not. It's kind of like this denied energy if I'm honest Virgo that you have at the moment where you're trying to take yourself seriously but you want someone to notice you to take you seriously. Do you know what I'm saying? by knowing what you want and when you do know what you want you can then put that forward to a person to know what they want as well because it feels like this serious unserious kind of uh floating around kind of energy of just floating in midair could be dealing with air signs for a lot of you but like just floating in midair 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 no, oh, Jim Morrison there somewhere. Sorry, there's another song. Come dance, my dear. Winter's so cold this year. You are so cold, my winter time love for me. Some of you, it's winter where you are. It's winter everywhere, right, I think. <laughs> but like, um, yeah, comedy dance, my dear. Winter's so cold this year. You are so warm, my winter time love to be. Some of you are into a winter time love, but a summertime love. Summer love. Winter summer love. Summer loving had me a blast. Yeah, someone's having a blast, that's what I'm saying. Summer loving happened so fast. Met a boy crazy for me. We showed off, fucking around. Summer days drifting away. Oh, uh, on a summer of a night. Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh. Ooh, tell me more, tell me more. Did you get very far? Did you get very far? I don't know, did you? Because I feel like this energy of just being hanging around. I'm just hanging around, seeing if I can make this go any further. Like, if I can make this last any longer. What is that for? I need to just spin this out. I mean, is it like money or tobacco? Or like, I need to just keep spinning this out? Like, I just need to make this a little bit longer and a little bit longer and a little bit longer and a little bit longer. And I just need to keep prolonging it and prolonging it and prolonging it and prolonging the inevitable. I mean, wake the fuck up. <laughs> I mean, like, I just need to keep prolonging it and prolonging it and prolonging it and prolonging it. And like, Jesus, you might be long, but stop prolonging the inevitable. I mean, is this because I need to reach out to a person or I need to forget a person? No idea. <laughs> Liza, that is not funny. No idea. <laughs> right, but like, well, I, I have no idea. It's like I need to just prolong it and prolong it. Whatever this is, think about what that is that you know that you need to do, but keep prolonging it, right? That's a message in itself. I know what I need to do, but I'm just prolonging it. I'm just making it last as long as I can. Now this is either like a connection. Uh, fuck, I don't know. Like it feels like this accumulating. I know that I really shouldn't be doing anything, but I need to. 
is this a job or money or like like a phone bill or something and I'm just like or saving up for something and I'm just prolonging it and prolonging it and prolonging it and I know that it's coming to that time and I know that it's coming to that time but I'm just trying to squeeze the last drop out of the cow's tip or like I'm just trying to get the last drop out I mean what is that trying to get the last drop out of Jupiter <laughs> trying to get the last drops out of Jupiter but um trying to get the last drop out of my Virgo in Jupiter but I don't know, I keep picking up like something being squeezed and I'm just trying, bruv, really? I'm just trying to get the last drop, bruv. Listen, lads, <laughs> I'm just trying to get the last drop out. I mean, you have a milk in a cow or something, but like, I just need to get the last drop out. <whistles> Woo, fallout. Some of you are playing fallout. Where is it? Is it here? No, put it up. Fallout. Some of you are playing fallout. Or playing with a fool. It's like, listen, fool. Do you want to play Fallout? <laughs> there you go. There you fell out now, didn't you? <laughs> so, yeah, well, we had a fight and we fell out over Fallout. You, you fell out with a friend by playing a game Fallout. Really? <laughs> we fell out. Well, one fell out and the other one said, roll over, roll over. And the one ran out, and the little one said, roll over. So the rollover week, I need to just squeeze the last amount out until I can afford to buy myself another ticket. Some of you are looking for work permits or tickets for things. I don't know if this is like a band that won't be coming up because of the coronavirus, or I need a worker's permit, or I need to get a ticket to ride. So a car or something, and I need to wait until I have a car, or they have a car, or a caca, and a cancerian, or a seven. And I have to wait until they, I have to wait until they wake the fuck up. I mean, what's that? You have to wait. I have to wait until this person gets out of bed. Because I woke up in the morning, looking in my shed. Someone's in a shed. Is it Bill and Ted? Is it? <laughs> but it's like someone's in a shed called Bill and I have to wait until Bill gets up I have to wait up in the shed what? I have to weigh it up in the shed some of you are weighing out drugs in the shed maybe I have to wait until everyone's asleep until I can get in my man cave and in my shed hold on a minute what's this coming up? <laughs> it's like I have to wait until I can get in my shed I have to wait until this person's awake first so you don't live on the... Well, do you live on the other end of the planet? What is this? I have to wait until this person's awake first. Hold on, I have to wait until they're awake. I can't go ahead until I get their permission and to wait until they're awake first before they do. Like, before you do something, it's kind of like I have to wait for a specific hour. I have to wait for the hour before you do something. If, if, if this is a project or something that you've got going on, and uh, I have to wait until the specific hour of the time of the metaphysical placement of the direction of the 479D action of the twin flame. As soon as they're in my direction, that gives me a, an erection towards that direction. And it's kind of like this. So what on earth is that? It's the PO. You have 60 seconds to comply. I mean, what is that? A robot? Yeah, robot. Robot. Robot Wars. Robot Wars? Well, that was also Red Dwarf. Robot Wars. But, like, this is a robot. This is only a robot. We are not really human. We are in the Matrix. Come on, machine. I want a job. No, we can't. We are the Daleks. We are the Daleks. We have took over your earth. Calling occupants of interplanetary craft. It's like, this goddamn robot is getting on my nerves, bruv. It's taking my job. I don't care. Sorry, but I am a robot. So, robot, listen, robot. Turn left. No, that's right, bruv. Oh. Don't you know that when they watch YouTube, it's on the opposite side because they're watching a mirror? How are you? Okay. Turn left. 
Turn right. Some of you are dealing with the two of cups. So I am trying to mimic your actions. When you turn left, I'll go right. <laughs> Some of you live on the last house on the left or the right or the wrong turn. It's like, is this a wrong turn or a right turn or a funny one? I don't know. Funny turn, wrong turn, left turn, quite like, um, I don't know, like the last house on the left. Or like, all you need to do is just turn right and then left, and then you can find it on the left through the right angle of this. And it's like, shit, bro, what direction am I going in now? Hold on. Unless you get lost and you go out in the woods or something. But uh, what is this? Something to do with around um, directing or something of like a robot. But um, giving someone directions... Giving someone directions? Because I, I, I'm kind of seeing this energy for some strange reason of a robot or a mirror doing the opposite to the other person. If you do that, I'll do the opposite. If you do this, I'll do the opposite to that. So you've kind of got this opposites attract energy. I like you because you do things opposite to what I do. <laughs> What's that called? Bone idol? But I like it because you do things opposite to what I do. Opposites attract. Meaning that you don't conform to a belief of anybody else, which means that I like you because you're honest. And it attracts me through honesty of doing things going against the going against the, of what you're supposed to do. Fuck us me all over, bruv. I'm not saying you have to like me. I'm just saying, me, if anybody believes in something, I guarantee I'll believe it in the other way. <laughs> you know, I try to do things differently and like, well, I'm fed up with that shit. I'd rather do something different and go against what everybody else keeps doing, the, the Mandela effect. But something like, I like it because you do the opposite to what I do. Or you... Oh, fuck, if I care. Anyway, that's your, that's your intergalactic, planetary, some sort of weird shit... Uh, and now we're going to look into your past life path number nine and Virgo. So what's been going on with life path number nine, please, spirit? Life path number de nine. De <laughs> uh, nine. What do I do? What do I do with a number two? I have got no idea what to do with this two. Oh dear. It's like, well, I've got these pair and what do I do with these pair now? Who wants to suck on it? So you've kind of got these pair of plums or a bum or like you just stand there like dreaming, like dreaming of something. I want to go. I just want to go. Go, 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 go. You go, girl. <laughs> but like, I just want to go. I just want to go there. I just want to go and visit. I just want to go. <laughs> That's all I keep hearing. I just want to go. But some of you keep thinking about leaving your past, but you don't. It's like this energy of like, I, I'm telling you I'm going to go. And you're like, yeah, go on then. But no, I'm honestly, I swear I'm going to leave. Yeah, go on then. No, honestly, like, what are you still here for? Well, I'm, I told you, if I go, I'm telling you that I'm leaving for good. Yeah, so why ain't you then? What, you want me to go? Yeah. No. <laughs> so it's like this why won't you leave well I mean if you guys are in a compromised position why won't you leave that's what you ask yourself why won't you leave because of security or is it a false sense of security is it unrequited love something that keeps you attached to something that is unrequited but it's a safety net at least it's home at least it's something I'm not happy where I am but I have to really just stay as I am. Right. Something simple. Simon. But let's see. Something called Cynthia. <clears throat> but let's see. Um, Serenity Jones. Nanu Nanu. <laughs> um, let's see. Life path number nine. Woo! Bent over backwards with the Seven of Swords. You're going to take it up there whether you like it or not. Bend over. Get in. So, 
Some of you are like, listen, I'm bent over backwards doing everything for you. All I ever seem to do is run around like a blue ass fly, sticking my arse in the air with Aquarius and Sagittarius. It's like, listen with the Sagittarius, you just stand there with the number two up your back part. <laughs> Calm down, Steve. But again, you just stand there, you stand there, Sagittarius, with your ball in your hand, making me do everything. And that I run around like a blue ass fly when you're not paying me any attention. Why? <laughs> Why are you not fly? Why are you not Marty? Well, me, I don't hang around for foolish behaviour. First one smoking. <laughs> Gone. No. Nope. Me. No way. Seven of Swords is people that are bent over backwards for others. You take so much and then you're supposed to be out. You're not supposed to be here. <laughs> Does anybody get it? You're not supposed to be where you are. You're not supposed to be there. Okay. For some of you. But you're not supposed to be where you are. But, um... Because this Seven of Swords is like, you know what? I'm Danny Glover. I'm sick and tired of this shit. I run around doing everything for everybody. And to be honest, I'm just like, it's, it's hard to tie a seven down. It is. When you learn about a seven, you learn that you're not avoiding things. You do end up doing that, which means that you avoid foolish, stupid behavior. So you avoid it like the plague. You don't get into arguments. Me, I used to be the first one into an argument all the time. And I used to be the one that you always used to be run over and treat like shit. But now it's very difficult because I won't conform to a belief of arguments. I don't argue. I walk away. Honest to God. And when you know about people, you realise that when they flip out, you just like, what's wrong? What, what is the matter? So instead of arguing, you gracefully bow and bowels. Someone's got a bowel problem. But um, yeah, you, uh, you leave, right? You leave. Because uh, that's what ascends you is a seven. A seven is ascension energy of leaving and going and running, right? Doing things my own way, right? So it's kind of like it's my way or the highway. So you have to come my way. You know what I'm saying? You have to come my way. Because sevens, when you learn, you don't chase. Pisces and people like that, they don't chase. Believe it or not, they don't always chase. They do. They may at the beginning. It really doesn't matter. But when you learn about chasing and running, you realise, you know what, I've been chasing people left, right and centre, and I've been addicted like tracing, tra tracing, tracing, chasing the dragon, right? So it feels like that I don't chase, I run. If people come my way and they're worthy of my time, I stop running and let people catch up. So you might be catching up with someone, right? But, um, you know, when you realise that uh, you don't play games, you do your own thing. You know, you do your own thing. Because you're the best thing that ever happened. You're the fish in the cup. You're the fish. <laughs> so you're the fish. Yep, you are the fish. Go fish. But like, um, go fishing. But again, there you go. So this seven is going towards the here. Someone of an opportunity. Right? I'm leaving for a better opportunity than the one that I'm in. Right? I'm free, single, available, looking for good time. Right? So I'm looking for a good time. So it's, that's where I'm going. I'm leaving for an opportunity in my life. Right? So I'm leading the way. So it means that you have to come my own way, go your own way. So you're kind of in and out of someone's life at the moment, Virgo, or have been. Uh, Virgo, well, Virgo number nine. But like, you know, you're in and out of someone's life. There's an opportunity there in order to reach out to this person for a lot of you. I think that it will be accepted of a person that would reciprocate the energy at least to speak. That's for sure. This person will speak, this Nine of Cups, or you have been. But um, what's this two of, uh, two of Wands? Two of Wands. Leo. 
There you go. So Leo's, Leo the trio of Leo, silver long John Silvers. <laughs> but um, get on your horse and drink your milk. That's what I say. But um, strength. But never ever confuse strength with what actually really is weakness. Strength isn't perseverance to keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. When it when you're in an energy thinking, no, I get I get knocked down, but I get back up again. That's foolish, because that's you in fight mode. When people are fighting, you get back up and you get knocked back down. You're supposed to stay down, <laughs> right? So you no no no, I'm just going to persevere and get back up, and get straight back in there. No, you get knocked down spiritually. You're supposed to stay down, right? So look at the predicament that you're in. If you hate where you are, don't keep persisting to do the same thing over and over and over again, thinking that that's loyalty and strength, when really it can come across as also weakness, because you have to notice errors of denial from Leo energies, right? So you can be holding out for a hero. I need to keep doing it in order to hold out for a person and stop my life, because I need to hold out for a person, but you need actions to prove it, right? So there's this energy where sometimes Leo energies, great Leo energies, I love Leos, right? But you know, you can be loyal to a fault and loyal to a T by keep doing the same thing over and over again, thinking that that is strength and perseverance, right? But perseverance, it can also be smoke and mirrors depending on the circumstance that you're in, okay? So in order to drop that and let that go, you have to realize how long is a piece of string, right? How long have I been doing this thing over and over and over and over and over and over again, right? running over the same old ground like like a cat, right? Being backed into a corner, doesn't like intimidation, doesn't like to be intimidated, right? So you've kind of got this energy where someone's still holding out for a hero in, in, in a way, right? But if you're being mistreated in a relationship already, you're like, say you're in a relationship and you're being mistreated already, and it doesn't work out and you go backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards and this person's in and out of your life constantly going off and cheating with other people, you know, in your life going off, cheating with other people, not in your life, you know, at all or, or God knows what else. But a seven can be somebody that's in a relationship already with a person and they go to another woman or man and then they come back to another woman or man, so on and so forth. And they do that. That isn't perseverance of strength of keep letting that person do it. No, 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 no. That's weakness. That means that you need a boundary to cut someone off. Right, where they can't just float around in your energy of a man or a woman that goes off cheating and sleeping with other people and then coming back and just taking a piece of the pie whenever they want. That means that you're, you're proving yourself a strength that really comes across as weakness because you're supposed to learn a boundary where this should be one in seven, which is the seven of wands. So a lot of you are letting this person do that. You know, you're letting this person just run riot and free willingly run and chase and run and chase and go to someone else and come back and just not happy in the circumstance that you're in, but free willingly let that happen. Here, for a lot of you, that's mainly if you're in relationships, because this person goes off here. <coughs> so what's this seven of um, seven of swords? That's mainly for you guys that are already like compromised at a two, thinking, you know what, I'm just holding out and waiting. Like for this person to just come back or go or, <laughs> you know, seven of, seven of swords. Because you can't be in denial whilst entering the twilight zone of smoke and mirrors of like lying about what you want when you don't really want it, you know? <laughs> it's like because some people do, they have this way of thinking, you know what, that's really what I want, but I'm not really going to tell the person what I want which is where a lot of people get mistaken by thinking that marriage and moving in is the best direction. It's because it's what I want. Is that what you want? Some people don't ask it, even though they say, no, that's not what I want. They don't satisfy with that and that's that. <laughs> you know, you have to have a demand of what it is that you want in a relationship, right? But generally, Seven of Swords here, you're not talking. No, you, you're not really been talking to a person that you've been trying to avoid here but then you've also got where the Aquarian energy is here and now, where it's made it very difficult because the energy is scattered with everybody at the moment, where they've all been in the same sort of predicament of placement. So you and your partner also, for a lot of you, if it's an ex and the energy is floating around, then you've kind of maybe spoke, but 
No, like a lot of you haven't spoke to your ex, right? Well, there's a possibility that you could have done, but intuition isn't real. Like your intuition isn't real. It kind of is. You kind of think, you know what, I really should be doing this or I really shouldn't be doing it, but your energy of two can always be, should I do it, should I not do it, should I do it? Well, you're never going to learn until you do it. So you can't have fear in order to not let your intuition just play out the way it is because you have karma, you have destiny, you have a forced energy of making you do it anyway. So how does your intuition play where you're like, well, I know I shouldn't have done that. I should have used my intuition like the book says. Fuck the book. It just says intuition. Has anybody ever seen an intuition? What does it look like? No, not the explanation. What does your intuition physically look like when you rip it out of your gut and your soul? What does it look like? Can you see it? No. Metaphysics. It's just a feeling of knowing that you should or shouldn't be doing things, whether they're right or whether they're wrong. The only way that you ever learn what your, what your intuition is, is by facing it and by doing it. Right? So you've got uh, energy of the high priestess of some people are talking, some people are not, some people are talking to others, some people don't know that the other person may be talking to another person, someone might just be fearing that the other person is talking to another person. You've kind of left this optical illusion of like, well, I don't know if we're actually talking or not. <laughs> so because you've got Aquarius energy here and an and a, a, a ace of pentacles where there is an opportunity that knocked and it was there, but I don't think that it was it lasted long. Right. Uh, ace of cups. Ace of cups for life path number nine. Yep. There's the Dick Richards, all right. So someone in this scenario, somebody, is already presently living with family members and an ex-person. Now, whether they're getting on or not, I don't think so, because they're trying to avoid that person, but still in it. That's what I'm saying. This person thinks that that's strength to keep holding out for a hero and not really changing anything, just doing the same thing over and over and over again, right? So that can be a promise. That can be a lie. That can be a... Uh, an energy of like where someone can say that, but they ever do it. How long has this person been doing that? How long have they been doing it? How long is a piece of string? How long has this been going on? Right? So how long has this person been in this predicament with this married partner or this relationship partner that they have kids with? How long? Because this person's got kids here. This person's got kids, children, right? So how long is that been going on well, as an individual message, how long is it that you're going to give yourself before you give up and move out here? Full of you. Okay. Uh, because there's a want here also of someone to move in. To move in. But, I mean, you can't ever move in with someone or move into their energy whilst someone else is in their energy. Which means if they are compromised by an ex or children then there has to be a, uh, a firm, secure foundation for a male energy, and I'm going to say it, <laughs> there has to be a firm foundation for a male energy to feel comfortable to move into a energy. Because trust me, a seven, as soon as they get a whiff of bullshit, they're out. They're like, fuck that, bruv. There's other men there. There's other things there. Like, you know, what do you want me to do? about that <laughs> which is like well if you've got other things going on and you've got other things in your life then what do you want me to do about your life aren't you supposed to sort that out yourself right because an energy has to feel safe to approach which is where you get also leo energies which is i need to make sure that i feel safe before i approach the energy i really need to know some facts i really need to know the truth i really need to know the figures of everything before i actually reach out and approach you Kind of, some kind of things that I really need to ask myself instead of consorting a tarot reader. Eventually, I actually realised that if I want to know some shit, then I'm actually going to have to speak up and ask about what it is that I want or don't want or, you know, those kind of energies, right? So, then you can get people that lie. <laughs> so, you get compromised by the whole lot, really, here. Because there's this, I want something. But then the person kind of shuts down, not speaking to a partner that's trying to get back into the high priestess energy. 
which means that I'm trying to get back in. Like, I want back into your life. But did this person express that? Because it, it came in very quick, but kind of like was more of this left as soon as it came kind of energy. Like it washed in and washed out. Like washed in, washed up kind of energy. Anyway, that's not so interesting for you because that's your past, present and future all in one go. But anyway, <laughs> uh, let's have a look at your future now, which is going to be for your February of life path number nine or Virgo bonus, but mainly stick with life path number nine, okay? Life path number nine. Way too many cards. What's going on with life path number nine for February, please? So Virgo, there you go, there's a number nine. <laughs> uh, but again, now well, I'm just gonna sit back and contemplate on my next approach to this energy, or actually think, is it worthy of my time or my effort? What do I want to do? Do I want to sit around at a campfire and hey, uh, uh, hey, uh, uh, hey, uh, uh, uh. do I want to just pretty much think that I can just send someone smoke signals and that they'll understand what I'm saying? If I just waff a bit of smoke over there, they might see the fact that I'm trying to get their attention. So let's just waff a bit of smoke over and thinking that hey, I hear you might know what I'm saying. No. <laughs> So, uh, I don't know, but a stranger in a dark room is how I describe Virgo. A stranger in a dark room, probably like photography and uh, taking pictures and like uh, negatives. And um, that's how I explain Virgo, is the negative positive energy of photography is kind of like a camera of like drawing and art and uh, positive things and negative things. And um, it's kind of what I'm seeing there. I'm seeing like a false positive, a false reaction, react like a reactor. Jesus, <laughs> overreacting, <coughs> overacting. But like, uh, yeah, I'm seeing photography for some reason. Because I'm seeing a dark room. Well, a dark room is photography, right? So let's see. Life path number nine. Yeah, so you start reaching out to someone here, talking. Could be a friend, could be a lover, could be a mother. But it's a progression. Life path number nine, ace of swords. Because you're reaching out for clarity. Well, it's coming from Virgo. Because <coughs> Virgo is also nine. It should be you reaching out for clarity here. <clears throat> so if you want clarifying anything, or you need clarity, then you go towards an Ace of Swords in order to find out what that is. Because if you're lost and you need to know, you need to ask. Okay, life path number nine. Because it leads to curiosity here. Yeah, a lot of you could have a new person, same person, old person, because you've got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. <coughs> Sorry, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. <coughs> There's a new beginning. Is the new beginning. It's the uh, era. It's uh, Angel Radio coming up. Um, yeah, so, some of you are on this pursuit of happiness of a new person here, for a lot of you. Or you're just free, single and available, thinking about your next direction in life. Here. Four of Swords. Mm. Looking sleeping on it. Why did I heard sleeping with the enemy? Or sleeping with Emily? Sleeping with Emily. See Emily play uh, for tomorrow. There is no other way. Uh, see Emily play. Uh, two. A decision. Libra. What do I do with a number two? I'm just going to sit here. It's mad all I keep hearing is T-Rex. Sitting here. You don't care for you. But I'm deeper in love. Ain't that funny. Just sitting here. You don't care for me. But I'm sitting here still. 
Ain't that funny? I'm just sitting here, but ain't that funny? I'm just sitting here as a spectator, knowing that this is funny, but feel funny, honey. Honey, come back, I just can't stand. Each lonely day is a little bit longer. And the last time I held you seems like a hundred years ago. Back to those arms that never know that you're the love that used to taste like honey. Come back where you belong for all these years. Glenn Campbell, honey, come back. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> Four, five, six. You got an energy that needs to be reciprocated. Someone needs to speak the fuck up, pretty much. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, if you want the rest of the reading, this goes on to the full access bundle over on Patreon. After I have done this one, Life Path number nine, I am not going to do it 11 or 22 or 33 because you can watch six, four or two. That's why I put them as Libra, Gemini, uh, Capricorn and uh, the others, right? The others, the others. That's a good film. Um, but um, yeah. So then after that, I might be doing around something around love, finances, something. Okay, something. <laughs> It'll be something. Uh, but that will come out after these. And they're just probably going to be timeless ones, maybe. Or I might just keep the energy current. And just throw some star sign stuff out there. And just list it as a time thing. It'll just say it in it, right? Um, but we'll see. Um, but if you want this one, and you want this, uh, it's in the full access bundle over on Patreon. Uh, we're going to clear these away and then do the rest of your reading. It breaks you down from just your star sign so you can watch it, see what comes of the energy at the end of the month, see what you should and shouldn't perhaps do, um, but you more than likely do that anyway. But, um, yeah, it's a full spread and we clarify it and see what you've got coming up. It is part of the full access bundle over on Patreon. If you want to join, you're more than welcome. You can find the link below. Also for a personal reading, if you want one, that is the email that is also provided. If you like the music, anything like that that comes up also, it's also part of Angel Radio, music production that I do. And you can also find free music on here. The new one will be coming out very soon, I think. Uh, and you can also buy it or listen to it free or support the channel. But either way, if you want to support the channel financially, I would appreciate it if you can. The link is below for Patreon. You can find loads of different things over there. But this one will only be on the full access bundle. Uh, thanks very much, guys, and I'll hopefully see you over there.